Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, in today's video, we have the uh, rear brake guard from Vanage, uh, Vanage Motorsports. And it is a beauty. Look at this thing. Just incredible design, attention to detail. It's actually quite substantial. Uh, it's very, very heavy. Uh, heavier than, I, than what I've had in the past from like Enduro Engineering. Um, definitely thicker though. So I don't think you'll ever uh, damage your rotor with this thing installed. So it's obviously gonna go down here, um, you know, down here and uh, let's get into it. Pretty simple install, just a couple of screws and uh, let's get started. All right, so step one is to uh, use your uh, Enduro Engineering uh, hub wrench from the 32 side and remove this bolt and remove the rear hub. And then uh, basically we're moving the rear wheel. So if you don't know how to do that, just look it up. Now that the wheel is off, what I did actually was I unhooked this from the carrier there, just popped it right out. And that allowed me enough slack to be able to pull this uh, back toward me and then free it from this rail right there. So the shark fin is going to replace this entire uh, Brembo carrier right here. So you still have your caliper in place. You've got it pierced two 11 mil uh, bolts that are screwed into this pretty strong, obviously, because it's a safety feature. Um, and you're gonna transfer it right over to here. So you've got your two bolts there, and you've got your one here, which is for your speed sensor for ABS. Okay, so now we have our uh, our shark fin with the brake clip. We've also transferred over the um, rubber piece and then we've screwed in uh, this carrier bolt here. So when you look back over to your caliper, uh, you'll still have this, this bolt up top remaining and uh, you'll have everything else that you need to basically transfer this right over. So as you can see now, you have this affixed to the caliper. So we have a little bit of grease there and that we need to pull that fitting actually out over that bolt. Um, we've got uh, this clip in, the brakes are in, uh, and then this clip over here is pushed in. So I was wrong, so get this out of the way, pull it to the very end, and then you can track it right on there. And it slides right up, just like that. Now I found, in order to make this easier for me, I unscrewed the T30 right here, which is the brake line tab. Just basically unhooking that uh, gave me enough play in here to get that down further. So from here, you're gonna come back over. You're gonna find your uh, your speed sensor. You're gonna run that down. You're gonna make sure that hooks back in to this here and screw that in. There's no Loctite on this one. And it is a plastic connection, so don't uh, don't over torque it. I'm gonna come back up to our piece right here and thread this back in. Same thing, this is plastic, so you don't wanna do. And now we're gonna come down here and feed this back in. Okay, everything's back together. Let's take a look over here. So you've got your uh, your rear sensor is plugged in. This is wired through here. Oh, we need to uh, put our brake piece back on. There we go. Uh, now this, you gotta take some of the slack out of here, which can be uh, made possible just by pulling all this tight. There's the lower part, so you can see how that extends just past where the rotor is. It's really a beautiful piece of kit, this, uh, this shark tank piece. Shark tank. Shark fin guard. Um, so I would say if I were to recap, for those of you doing this for the first time, um, you know, it's, it's obviously just like replacing uh, a caliper. 
uh, or a rotor. So pull the pads first, um, then pull the wheel, and then um, then you want to slide this caliper off the uh, the carrier pieces, and then you remove those from the carrier and transfer them over to the new shark fin, and then you put it all back together, as it were. Looks great. Thanks so much for watching, and ride safe.